Hi, I'm Kenny. Welcome back to my channel, Bearded Apostolic. Today, I'm going to talk about chimney fires and how to prevent them. Uh, chimney fires are very dangerous. The, it can lead to the attic space of your home um, catching on fire. Your house can entirely burn down. Uh, hopefully, you have smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors that would alert you and get you out of the house. At least your family would be safe but let's try to prevent that all from even happening. What we're gonna to do today is sweep the chimney. Uh, two things we're gonna do is keep it from getting a chimney fire, and we're also gonna help the fire breathe a lot better. What I've noticed is when we're doing our fires, they've been smoldering more and not be a, a free flowing fire and uh, not burning as hot, which when they're smoldering, they're creating more creosote building up in your fire which will cause a chimney fire so let's go up the ladder we're gonna take a quick look and we'll get to sweeping see you at the top as you can see this is quite built up and it's pretty flaky and crusty and once we run the brush down it and back up uh, about three times, it'll, it'll all be uh, down at the bottom and we'll shovel that out again. Uh, so stand by. So what we have here is some creosote buildup in here and it's quite flaky and um, what we're gonna do is knock it down and then we'll clean it out at the bottom. You're gonna get a chimney brush and some rods so you can run it up and down in there. And you're gonna to need to get the size that the flue of your chimney is so it'll scrape all sides at once. So we're just gonna run this up and down a couple times. Popcorn, don't eat it. What if the dog is eating it? Well, Lord help him. So as you can see from the before shot, we now have an after shot, which most of that has been removed. Might be able to see some of the dust still floating out of there. We'll go ahead and clean that out at the bottom. We got some stuff that flaked off as I pulled the brush up here and uh, we'll get this all squared away. So what we have here is the buildup of what from sweeping the chimney like three times. Um, you can sit there and go up and down and get it perfect, but it's, it's okay. It, it, we're cleaning it out and, and here's what it looks like now. All that piled up in there. We gotta get all that out of there, otherwise the heat and smoke won't be able to go up out of the chimney because it's blocking the, the bottom part of the fireplace. So we're gonna attack that with the shovel. Well, it would be a good idea if you use a bucket because it's going to make a mess. There's quite a bit here. And you don't want to breathe this stuff. It is can be toxic. Try to get as much in there. Don't let your dog eat it.
Uh, you should probably uh, clean your chimney, maybe at the beginning of your burning season or after, whichever you prefer, and maybe once in the middle. Uh, prevention is kind of the key here. It's, uh, it's a lot easier to do this than it is to rebuild if you even survive a, a fire. And of course, you don't have to do this yourself either. There are companies, chimney sweeps, that'll come do this for you. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think that they're uh, too terribly expensive. I've just always done it myself. I only have a one-story house, so I'm not up there two or three stories either. Uh, these aren't ashes these are it's creosote and it is toxic so I would suggest not dumping it on the ground but putting it in the garbage can and disposing of it that way So this is a chimney. Um, I don't usually get every little bit out of there. It, the main point is to allow the airflow for it to breathe. So we're just gonna get a little more of these big chunks out of here that are hiding in the corners. And then it, it should be good for now. So we're going to call that good for now. As you can see, we got a whole bucket full of it here. And we'll go ahead and dump that in the garbage can. So that should prevent us from having a, a chimney fire. And um, coming up video, we're going to do one on dryer fires and how to clean your, your dryer so that uh, you don't have one of those. So look forward to that coming up. In the event you do have a chimney fire, if you can and it's safe close down that ch the fireplace immediately if possible if you can't don't worry about it get out of the house call 911 your safety is more important the only time you try to 
do something with the fire is to get out. Fire extinguishers are not to put a fire out. They're for your safety so you can escape the fire. Let the professionals come and put the fire out. You, in an attempt to put a fire out, are putting yourself in danger and possibly going to perish because of smoke inhalation or heat exhaustion. Um, it's safer for you to get out. Belongings are replaceable. You are not. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. God bless.